the China Coast Guard CCG, ship was finally driven out of the Indonesian Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ, in the North Natuna Sea. Previously, the Chinese Authority Ship No. 5204, had been in Natuna since the weekend and refused to leave claiming that the territory was part of the Chinese Sea area. The ship China Coast Guard 5204 finally moved out of Indonesia's EEZ under the shadow of knots 321 Pulau Nipah at noon Monday, after arguing over the radio, wrote the Indonesian Maritime Security Agency, Bakamla Re, in a release received by CNBC Indonesia, Tuesday 15 September 2020. The two ships are in intensive communication, confirming each other's position and claims over the sea area. Quote, since Saturday, 12 September 2020, the Chinese ship CCG 5204 entered the Indonesian Exclusive Economic Zone ZEEI. Despite being asked the purpose of its existence, the Chinese ship did not want to leave and persisted in the area. In fact, the CCG 5204 said they were patrolling Chinese territory. The area in North Natuna is claimed to be part of China's Nine Dash Line. Bakamla has also emphasized that based on UNCLOS 1982, International Maritime Law, the Nine Dash Line is not recognized. The ship was immediately driven out by knots Pulau Nipah 321 belonging to Bakamla. China claims 80% of the South China Sea area. This has caused China problems with a number of ASEAN countries, such as Malaysia, Vietnam, Brunei Jerusalem, and the Philippines. This case is not the first in Natuna. In early 2020, China together with services and coast guards also broke through Indonesian waters. Previously, the Indonesian government through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had summoned Chinese representatives in Indonesia. One of them was to raise objections about the incident in Natuna. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reaffirmed to the Deputy Ambassador of the PRC that Indonesia's EEZ has no claims of overlapping waters with the PRC and rejects the claims of the Nine Dash Line of the PRC because it contradicts the 1982 UNCLOS, said Indonesian Foreign Ministry spokesman Toku Fazisha. He said the Chinese embassy in Jakarta had responded. Re-reports will be reported to Beijing.